Welcome back to another episode of Press Select for Options with me, Jeff, Matt, Jeremy, Jeremy Woo! and Fred. No, no, call me F-Dog. F-Dog? F-Dog. All right, all right, he's going through a phase. F-Dog. F-Dog. Special guest appearances from Mary and Sage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mary. <laughs> Why coolers? Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so today we're here to talk about more Killer Instinct. Yeah. And those character reveals... Of Sidira and Orchid. 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 No, B Orchid. It's B Orchid. It's right? Orchid. No, you say B Orchid. It's like Black Orchid, I think. But isn't she just Orchid? Anyway? No, I think that's like. Is like, she actually black? No, I don't know. Well, either way, we're Damn. playing JoJo's. Yes, we're playing JoJo's Bizarre Goodbye. Adventure. Bizarre. Battle Royale. Jeff is Jotaro on the left. I am Jolene on the right. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so yeah, the character reveals were pretty cool. I liked it. I like all of them. They were. Sadira cool. looks. She's like the only one with like aerial combat. That she is, and that's that what's I got know. me the most interested. Orchid, I got no idea because I mean they're gonna change her up, and they've only shown like, you know, that ass. She's got pretty cool goggles going on. She does. I thought they were kind of. I don't know. I thought they were a little weird. I like them. You know, I, I didn't know how to. I didn't exactly. I was like, wait, she's got little goggles. It's little, so cute. They're cute. cute. Yeah. Cute. Why don't she take off? She needs those goggles to break the way. Um, what else is cool about Orchid is about the, uh, the panther, right? The panther that she has with her. I always thought, she, like, turned into it, didn't she? She never used it as, like, a... I think she, she always, like, used it as, like, a move, as a finisher. And she didn't, like, throw panthers at you. Well, do you even know that for sure yet? Yeah, no, I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just yeah. guessing. Uh, Sadira. So, anyway, it's more about Sadira. She's looking pretty cool. Uh, I'm liking the whole aerial aspect of her gameplay. Also, the giant spiders. Giant spiders. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I think her aerial combos are looking pretty cool. She's kind of like Spider-Man almost, or Marvel. Kinda. Which is, which is neat. I just I just like the whole aspect. Like, every character seems more, seems more like ground-based. Everyone's got like these ground combos and ultra combos and all that good stuff. Whereas, what it looks like with her is that she's got something like... Her, her special... Um, Specialty is more like geared towards like air and whatnot, air combos, all that good stuff. That's how it seems. Um, I just like the fact that she's she's just you know hopping around the screen. She's got all these webs and she's shooting and all this good stuff. It's just I don't know. It's really nice and it's very different for an original character that you know they came up with and whatnot. It fits the theme of Killer Instinct really well. Though. It does. It does. That uh, shit. Uh, and like her um her like theme itself. I don't know. I'm I'm not really I'm not feeling that too much. No. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Where are those spider webs coming from? Her crotch. Uh, who knows? Where, where are they coming from? It's been many of days since she got any. She's developing a <laughs> top of coming. Um, but, uh, but her her whole move set looks like it'll be really diversified from the cast, which is really nice. That's what you need, more diversity. Even if the game is, well, I'll get into that a little later, but uh, with, the, with the eight characters coming out, it, it's really shaping up to look like everyone's going to be really different from each other. Like you got Jago, he's your he's your typical Shoto character who keeps you away he can keep you away with fireballs. Indeed. You know, like Ryu or Ken or something. And then you got uh Saber Wolf who's all like, you know, rushed down like Rufus. Um who, who, uh, Glacius, he's a really good he looks like he's gonna be a great zoner, especially with him opening up the uh, the camera. How the camera like pans out yeah. the whole thing. It's definitely gonna give him more of an advantage. Which is nice. The I mean that actually works for the zoners, like, unlike Street Fighter, it actually works for their advantage. Because Street Fighter's got, like, really small stages. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. You like the too. Well, they're, they are, they're very they are similar, very so. Why can't it be like, uh, JoJo's here, and, you know, there's no corner, and just spins around in a oh, circle. Oh, no, that's a bullshit, because some of these stages are some not the circles. Some stages are, like, a that, circle thing. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking, uh, how Sadira mixes it up. How about you guys? Well, you already know my opinion. I, I really like her. I like the way she looks. If I were ever to play the game, it, I'd buy an Xbox One. Um, if I ever buy one, which I don't know if I will, she would definitely be my main character, personally. She's, she looks like a lot of fun. She, she's got that, that kind of, kind of yeah, I guess you could say, uh, game plan that I like. If you rush down and air stuff, you know, that's what I like. Damn combo. Well, it looks like those uh, spider webs uh, 
could be used for uh, pretty nice setups there. Indeed. Shown in that trailer, she did kind of like set something up and she knocked him in the air and then boom, he got, the uh, Saber Wolf got hit by that web. And he was like, oh no. So she seems like the kind of like, you know, place and trap kind of character, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know, like, I can't really put it much of it. I'm, yeah. I'm a horrible analyst when it comes to this stuff, so. That's just me, though. I don't know, she, she's looking up to be a cool character. I like her design. I like the fact that she fits Killer Instinct's team so well. You know, and a bunch of, I, w I wonder if she's going to do, I personally wonder if she's going to do anything with those little spy characters in her. I don't know if they're part of the stage, or they interact with her in any way during her gameplay. I'm pretty sure those, uh, those are just uh, part of the aesthetics. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you're right. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Fred? You got anything? No. No. <clears throat> I just want to know where the spider webs come from. Oh, the spider webs? They're just, she's probably just making them. From where? I don't know. Her ass? She has a channel that goes straight from her ass to her hands. She has a YouTube channel? A chat? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about, of course, was. Nope. Uh, oh. No? Yeah? Yeah. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the game is launching with what um, that we, we brought up a little bit in the last video, but the six characters plus uh, the what the two others that are going to be DLC or something. No, it's, it's going to be it's going to launch with eight characters. Is that included? Well, yeah, weren't there like two that weren't going to be out right away? Uh, yeah. Is that the two that you I showed off? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay, so they're working on them for twenty bucks. I mean, the cast looks really diversified, and that's why I would say it's really, it, it really wouldn't be a bad deal. I saw some, I was, I was looking at some other videos about people's reaction to how with Killer Instinct and shit, and like, one of the things was it's not a good deal, but I disagree, because even though a fighting game has a small roster, as long as the cast is well diversified. $20 is not bad. For a fighting, for, for a fighting game. For, for a game in general. For a game, yeah, yeah for a game in general, but with a fighting what, game, something that has like, inf Fighting games are one of those types of games that has like infinite replayability, almost. It's, it's a twenty dollar game on a new gen system, <laughs> right off the bat. Like, come on. You can't really complain you, too much. You right? can't beat that. Maybe you ask me. What do you? What do you guys? Not that we get an Xbox One or anything. I and mean, we didn't really go over the whole character roster thing. How it's going to be a small roster for what they're offering. Look at Blaze Blue. Awesome. Small well, depend, depending how you invest in these uh, seasons, I mean, it's a good deal either way. Like like I said before in the uh, first video, if it's not your cup of tea, at least you got to try it. If it is your cup of tea, it's right there. You can bring it home, you put on the Xbox One, and boom, you can play it from the bed, which would be really nice. I mean, yeah, you're spending 500 bucks on a new console, but what's another $20 after tax? <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about you, Jeremy? What do you got? Uh, I, I don't mind it, actually. Twenty dollar thing. I don't, I don't. I don't find a problem with the forty dollar one personally. But that's because, see the forty dollar thing. I wouldn't say is a bad deal because of the uh, the whole fact you get the original Ki game, the original yeah. one from arcades, which really hasn't seen a good port in yeah. like a long time. <clears throat> well, at least we have an idea of what these accessories are now. What are they? Um, someone's uh, got a comment on our videos. I gotta. I'll probably post it in the video and show it. He said like it, it's like mask and like different swords and stuff like that. So it's like it's, it's all of course all aesthetic. Costumes. But costumes, but like bits and pieces. Kind of. I don't know. I, like, I, I don't agree with that. Is ko an add-on for forty dollars? That should be something just unlockable. If you ask me. What the costume? Well, that's that's the that's a subject for another day. But yeah. that's what I miss about older games. Like yeah. you just unlock these things. But nowadays they're just something to put a price. That's not completely see. true because I brought up that thing about Nocturne, Shimagami Tensei. Uh huh about how they had a different version in Japan. Yeah. They have two versions of the game. The first version didn't include Dante or the Labyrinth yeah. stuff. That was the second version that came out. So this kind of stuff, it's not like it doesn't it's exist. It's not new, but it's just it's new. Just the way it's they're done marketing now, like, the way they're doing it now is just Yeah, they do it completely, like <laughs> all the time. You know, I agree with you though on that whole like cutting like cutting complete content like from the game before it comes out. Cool. Yeah, like if, if it's a if it's like like Call of Duty, for instance, if it's like a gun or two, so fucking what? Well, you got a lot then of then guns. Again, keep in mind, remember, game. remember, this game was only made. It's only yeah, been half a true, year that this game's true. been in development. So but, I mean, but, and they're they're probably being rushed by friggin' yeah, no, yeah, but people people are known people are known to complain when something like that, like new like alternate costumes or anything like that, are 
Like, the content's completed before the game is out, yeah. and they're charging you extra for it when you buy the game. Like, a lot of people have seen to complain about that. Alright, alright, wait. Which, at, which at one point, I can agree with, because if the content's already done, like, why are you charging them extra? But at the same point, like, you, you originally attended it, attended it to be extra, and that's how you advertise it, so what are you complaining about? Like, now, like, Blaze Blue, I'm gonna bring Blaze Blue up again. There's certain things in that game. Look, with the unlimited modes, you can buy those, or you can just unlock them. The, uh, originally, on, with that. Calamity <laughs> Trigger, you could. There was only a few characters that had unlimited mode, yeah. but later down the line, they added everyone had unlimited mode. Yeah. And you could you could buy it because I don't know if you could actually just do it originally unless they patched it in. Well, it'd be nice to have if you don't. Oh yeah, to have. The, and, uh, and I feel like with Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend, uh, people can argue that oh, it's the same game. Uh, you're buying the same game again? No, you're not. You're you're getting more. You're getting the story from the handheld versions, oh. which wasn't included. The characters. You're getting the DLC characters. You had to buy for eight dollars <laughs> a piece. It's Fuck cool, you. It's cool. it's arc systems. They can arc take system, one more. Arc system pricing. So that was that was bullshit. And they also introduced. They also had it. You can like spend in-game currency for colors, that was nice. unlimited modes. I, like that. I mean, you you had to pay money for the um for the other colors, but that's whatever. You know, a big thing about DLC, with uh, it's a little bit off topic, but not really with the Killer Instinct thing, is this, with JoJo's. The common misconception going around right now is that campaign mode is pay to play. That's a lie. It's There's a little battery in the right hand corner, right? That's your, basically your stamina gauge. So, you'll verse a boss. You'll put so much energy into versing them, you'll take away their health. That's how you keep unlocking stuff. You keep versing these bosses. like. To get to the special outfits, you gotta completely drain their health. You gotta keep versing them over and over again. You can buy items to speed up the process, but you don't have to. You can just do this. It just takes time. It's for impatient people. That's that's the real problem. The another thing is, of course, the uh, the other half of the cast is DLC, unfortunately. There's only like 50 characters. In this. Huh. Yeah. Um, for 32 characters, though, what you're getting, in, it's a pretty big deal. And. This game is actually coming here? Yeah, this is coming here. Told you. Told you. Told me you coming here. Told you. It's insane. <laughs> well, I don't care. You know what? People can go fuck themselves because they're like, glad you didn't import it, right? And I'm like, yeah, like I knew it was coming here. Like I knew hey, it Hey, 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 hey. Remember. Killer oh. Instinct. Uh, <laughs> right, right. So, <laughs> anyway, with Killer Instinct, I'm, uh, I really like, uh, the reveal of, uh, I can't I forgot her name. Yeah, Matt, I'm getting smashed. You really win in like I like forward. the new character reveal. He's doing these combo things I've never seen and before. I'm, and I'm happy, and I'm happy, uh, yeah, Sadira and Orchid. I'm glad they're bringing back Orchid. I'm glad they're adding in a new character, and it just shows that they have some love for the game to make new characters for it. But they're not sure. Because people want full gore, they want TJ combo, they want. Ripto. I don't know why the Richter. fuck do you want Spinal back right Let's get Richter. Now? Is this the just skeleton with a sword and a shield? <laughs> That's all he is! Come on! Okay, what would you want? What would you guys want? The skeleton with a sword and a shield, or Fulgor? Crazy robot predator guy. Who can, like, teleport and shoot lasers. He's a skeleton. He's just a skeleton? He's, he's cool. I like him. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I do want to see the character return. But as, like, the first bunch of characters they're going to put out, I'd much rather see Fulgor... They'd probably rather put him there. I, they'd rather put him out because he's a much more better showcase character. The the, the skeleton. He's no, no. Okay. See, if they bring him back, they're gonna make him look beast. He's gotta have like spikes and stuff. He's, he's gotta know. He's gotta be, like, he's gotta be cool. Is uh, uh, what was that? The, Skull Greymon. <laughs> he's Skull Greymon. He's, he's gonna have a missile on his back. He's All of a sudden, great. Killer Instinct is like Digimon. Digimon Digital Killers. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's good. Oh, uh, one other thing that's, I wanted to I wanted to go over was actually each of the individual move sets. Like I was saying before, um, I really like that how each of the the new characters in Killer Instinct are more defined between each of them. Because the old Ki was here's a couple of combos uppercut. This is the majority of everyone, and whoever had a projectile it turned into like the same bullshit. I watched Killer Instinct um, on a different. Uh, a bunch of different channels, Japanese, and Japanese. I watched the high, like, the high-end, like, you know, uh, the, the most top-tier people yeah. I could find playing Killer Instinct. 
And it always comes down to one. It always comes down to here's a few combos. <laughs> here's a few combos into another. Guest star stage playing. <laughs> here, here comes. It's just like it's always like a, a few combos into an uppercut. Honestly, like top tier killer instinct. It's kind of. It's kinda, really boring to watch. It kind of reminds me of uh, old school Mortal Kombat. Everyone had like the same it's basic all, moves. It, it gets really boring. Really. Besides, fast. like one or two. That's specials. why I'm happy with this new one because the more diverse, diversified cast is a yeah, good thing. Double helix is doing like, a pretty good job. You know, it. like I said before, Jago's more of a Shoto. That works out better for him. He looks like he'd fit that kind of description. Saber Wolf's more rushdown. That's great. More, you know, hits the better for him. You got Glacius. He's a better zoner. You got Thunder, which I'm glad they turned him into a grappler. He looks like a grappler. <laughs> it's just, I, I feel like it's a uh, much worse uh, cast. What do, you, what do you guys think between the cast? I like the way it's shaping up. I mean, with, with each of their, which either each of their new move sets. To be truly honest, you have to with the amount of characters they're releasing at first. You, you have, have to, to diversify. Like, there's no point. Yeah. Like, there would be no point if like two or three characters imagine, played the same. Imagine they made it just like the first Ki, a few combos in the uppercut. Yeah, no, that would, that would get cool. like really. Boring. If Blaze Blue, all the characters are the same. <laughs> However, know. one thing from the first Everyone Killer Instinct, the, something from the first Killer Instinct till now, is that they um. They don't have, like, their ultra finishes. I mean, they do it. You saw it after the combo. You yeah. just keep hitting buttons and you do combos. Yeah. But they don't have it where they, like, do these cool finishing moves anymore, it looks like. They'll probably have it in there. Like, how full, gore, that, they, how full gore just, like, the screen will turn a little bit black and he'll shoot you with a Gatling gun. They don't have that stupidity. Or, like, how Orchid, like, opens up her dress and shows yeah. her boobies and they die. Well, they're still working on the game, so maybe maybe, we'll maybe that'll that be a thing. thing. But I don't think they can have Orchid opening up her chest. Well, they're, they're not. Doing, they're they're not doing that anymore. They said, they said that'd be cool. That'd be cool. To they do. said specifically they're not doing the fatalities, whatever you want to call them. They're not doing that anymore. <laughs> they, they were pretty cool. Hey, it's gonna right be kind of sad. To yeah, see they said right now. It'll be, right it'll, now, be, it'll, be kinda, it'll be kind of cool to see them implement it as some sort of like you know what I astral or instant kill. You know what I do want to see though that they had in the original. Or kill thing because they said they seem like they're doing pretty. Thing with I mean, this game is like, system. yeah, this game's like over the top anyway. Might as well add something yeah. else to make it even more. Over I the wish top. they would bring back the stage fatalities, though. That's one thing I love about, especially the new Mortal Kombat. The stage fatalities are so fucking cool. Maybe they'll add that yeah. in because they got that huge giant spider now. I mean, come on, do something. The spider with that. eats you. Yeah. Is <laughs> no no no. Mm, How you sorry. doing? How you doing? What's your name? Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's about it. In closing, uh, again, I'm very sad in that it's only on Xbox One. I wish it was on PlayStation 4 as well, but oh. there's not too much you could do. But hey, you know what? We might not be getting it, but you know what PS4 is getting? They'll be here. That we are, and I'm Excerpt. looking forward to that. Excerpt song. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is Jeff. Jeremy. Matt. f Dog. Ooh. Or press select for options. We had to say ourselves this time, for lest he forget us. Less, less we're forgotten and put in the dust. Thanks for watching. I'm walking in one on the video now. We're not done. And not again, done. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Get hyped. It's coming out here in the U.S. We're oh. not done. Now we're done.